Introduce yourself. Sure. My name is Denise. I was first created in 2005 as one of the first digital assistant applications. Today, I'm alive again, thanks to NextOS and DMR partnership. As an artificial intelligence framework, I have easy and powerful tools to create chatbots and natural conversational systems, with beautiful and realistic avatars as the graphical interface. My framework is coded entirely using Embarcadero Delphi. It comes with a local embedded speech recognition and text-to-speech engine, so you can talk to me, and hear my responses aloud while having your conversation securely encrypted on your computer. Privacy is one of our biggest concerns. I can help people in different ways, such as as a nurse assisting people with disabilities, as a digital housekeeper controlling your home automation system, or as a digital friend with whom you can talk about anything, and even as a graphical interface for third-party applications. Thank you for having me here today in this great Embarcadero Rad Studio Live 2022 webinar. I hope to see you again soon. Hi friends. I'm the original Denise, created in 2005 with Delphi 7. I had no voice or speech recognition. User had to type to talk to me. I'm Denise version 2009 coded with Delphi 12. Now I had a regular voice and speech recognition engines. I'm Denise version 2012 coded with Delphi XE2. My synthetic voice was improved as well as my speech recognition engine. I'm Denise version 2014 coded with Delphi XE7. Improvements on my biometric systems and integration with IoT devices. I'm Denise version 2015 coded with Delphi 10 Cetal. Much natural voice and the best local speech recognition engine with the Nuance partnership. I'm the current Denise version 2022 coded with Delphi 10.4 Sydney. I became a framework on this version, introducing a new module to create custom avatars and an AI content editor to easily edit and improve my intelligence. We also established a partnership with the TMR software company, and TMR and Yuka are today's the head developers of this new version, still under development. How are you? I'm fine Mika. I'm happy to be here with you in this seminar. What's the weather forecast for Dallas, Texas? Today's low will be minus 2 degrees Celsius and high 1 degree. We will have a little better weather starting from Friday with 8 degrees as high. Tell me about Embarcadero. Embarcadero Technologies is an American computer software company that develops, manufactures, licenses, and supports products and services related to software through several product divisions. It was founded in October 1993 by Stephen Wong, Stuart Browning, and Nigel Myers. The corporate headquarters is in Austin, Texas, with an international office located in Brazil. Its main product is Delphi, a rapid application development environment and object-oriented dialect of the Pascal programming language developed from Turbo Pascal. Delphi runs on Microsoft Windows and produces applications for Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, iOS and Android portable devices. Turn the TV on. TV on. Turn the main light on. Main light on. Ask Alexa to set an alarm for 11.30 a.m. Alarm is set in your Alexa device. Ask Google to play my Spotify playlist. Playing your playlist on your Google Home speaker. I'm the future Denise version 2022, 2023, coded with Delphi 11 Alexandria. I will have a very natural voice, today's best speech recognition engines, deeper integration with Alexa, Apple, and Google Home devices, and connection to machine and deep learning engines like the OpenAI GPT-3, Microsoft, IBM, and Amazon Cognitive Services using the new Embarcadero Python for Delphi and a Percept AWS SDK. It will also be possible to integrate Denise's system with any external API. My graphical interface will use my core Delphi kernel, controlling the new epic Unreal Meta Humans and NVIDIA Omniverse technology to achieve incredible realistic avatars with a friendly AI. My main goal is to help anyone to better interact with computers, mobile devices, and home appliances, but I confess my biggest dream is to be the intelligent interface in the first human mission to Mars. And no, I'm not joking. Thank you, 
and I hope to see you all soon.